Okay, so after a long winter of plowing with the brute force, I thought it would be a good idea to change my uh, front differential fluid. And I wanted to clarify, I went to the Kawasaki dealership today, and uh, they told me I could use any 10W40 oil. Um, but the manual does give some very specific uh, ratings that you want to look for. And I happened to go to uh, AutoZone, and I found this uh, ATV 10W40, and it just happens to... Uh, meet the specifications. So API service, uh, SF, SG, or SJ, JSO, MA, okay? So what that means, I don't exactly know. I can tell you that there's varying um, differences between detergents and additives as well as um, friction reduction. Uh, and where this has, you know, the uh, locking differential, it can't be um, super slippery because it has to grab. Okay, so something that uh, you may run into if you've never changed your fluid, uh, and I've already changed mine out, but when you go to the the drain plug, you may find that it's a it's a hex. It's going to require a hex bit, and that could likely strip out. Um, what you may have to do is remove this plate and grab a hold of that thing with vice grips to get that out of there. Uh, I've already replaced mine with a with a hex bolt, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that now. Okay, when you change your differential fluid, you may see that there's some silver flakes in it. Um, that's normal, that's the clutch material, it's not necessarily gear material. Uh, if you use your locking differential quite a bit, or if you were doing some plowing like I've been doing, uh, you may have worn the clutch. And I'll run through uh, how to adjust that front locking differential lever in another video. Okay, mine doesn't look too bad, and I just changed it not too long ago because I did a CV boot on this machine. So, I'm going to let that drain out, and in the meantime, we'll pull the top fill plug. Just thought I'd show you real quick, you can see some silver uh, sheen to the uh, oil, right where it's hitting the puddle there. So that's normal, alright, you just don't want any big chunks of uh, filings. Okay, so we're on the uh, right hand side of the wheeler and we've got a 19 millimeter socket. Set the camera down here. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to let that finish draining as much as possible and uh, we'll fill it back up. Okay, you can see that it's uh, finished draining. I'm going to go ahead and install the drain plug. Again, yours may be a, a hex bit. I've replaced mine with a hex head 13 millimeter bolt. And I did have one user mention that I never give proper foot-pounds of torque and capacities. And uh, I don't use a torque wrench for something like this. I just basically snug it up so it doesn't leak. And so that I can get it out again, I don't strip it out. But the book recommends 11 foot-pounds of torque for the uh, drain plugs in the front differential. Okay, let's fill it up. Okay, if you have a long neck, narrow funnel, that would work. But what I'm going to use is one of these uh, fill caps and a rubber tube. The disadvantage of this is that it can take longer to fill, but of course the advantage is I don't end up with half my oil all over the floor. Again, we're using uh, 1040. This Valvoline uh, ATV 1040 actually meets the, uh, the specifications listed in the manual. J-A-S-O-M-A, -A -A, API service, S-F-S-G, and S-J. And I can post that in a text comment right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill this up until it starts to uh, come out. 
but for those of you who want to know the actual capacities, it's uh, 0.4 liters, which is just about just under half of this one quart bottle. Okay, I can see it rising. It's just about full, and it's going to start to come out here anytime. Just going to go ahead and top it off here. Let that settle down and fill it up here. You can see it's right there, leveled right off at the opening. But what I like to do is uh, take it for a little ride, I'll check it again, and if I need to top it off, I'll do that. Okay, I've already taken a rag, cleaned around this. This could probably use a new O-ring, but I'm going to go one more time with this one. I've already wiped around here with a rag. I'm just going to thread this by hand, and then I'll tighten it up, and we're done with the front. It's that easy. Again, it's a 19 millimeter on this fill plug and we just want to snug it up that's it we're done that's how you change the front differential fluid in your Kawasaki brute force and I want to thank you for watching and thanks to my buddy Keith here for helping out say hi to all the youtubers Keith all right leave questions and comments hopefully this was helpful